Yeah, morning, afternoon, good evening, if, if, everywhere you are. This is Santo Media. I'm called Santo. Yes, I'm going to show you how you can enter on access point or router that serving you uh, on internet. First, remember to make a subscribe and comment if this is good. Uh, I, I have to appreciate and this is a long, this is something long, I have to search the way that can I collect those mistakes. So, remember to make a subscribe first. Then, first of all, as you see my on my computer, I have uh, an internet. I have a Wi-Fi internet that called uh, GS Dego. Now, as you see, I am, now I'm accessing, because my internet is accessed. So, whenever you you access on some router or access point, it is very easy or it is possible how to, to make some modification on that access point. But uh, as professional, you have to see that gateway IP address. Uh, you have to see the how package is traveling from one location to another but isn't good to make as a black hacker so for now i'm going to show you how to see all movement that done on this access point mm, uh, yes because I, I am on that local area network i connect i am connected to that access point it's very easy to see the ip address of this uh, this access point and it is it is very easy to make a modification is that why uh, I advise some network administrator uh, to make some privilege that against some external attackers to enter on the access point so I'm show you how to to enter on this access point and to make some modification on this access point firstly uh, let, 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 let's open a uh, command prompt. Uh, it's a CMD. So you have to enter on CMD as administrator. As you see, is it run as admin, administrator? Okay, then click on yes. Now my command prompt is now opened. So let me make it wide. So firstly, I have to use the command code IP. IP config. Yes, IP config. As you see, this is wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. And me also I'm um, I'm connected to this wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. As you see, you have you have uh, the connection specific DNS suffix. This is the LAN. The type of this network is run. Then you have a link local IP. IP version 6 address. So the version the version uh, that I use, I use it for two, two, two versions. As you know, I have two, two versions, version 4 and the version 6. In the case of uh, I try to use my version 6, I use this IP address, then version 4 is this. Then I have the subnet, subnet mask. This subnet, subnet mask uh, it refers to the class of IP address you use. So I use class C. Is that why I have this subnet mask? Whenever I use class B, I can see the different uh, subnet mask that differ to this. Uh, and so, so this is a different gateway. This is a, an, uh, an IP address of the port that I'm connected. So this is the IP address of this access access point. This IP address help user or this access point to make a routing. To make routing is to connected with the network different network from different locations. To send a packet on a, on a some network, we have to use this gateway. So this gateway also can help you to to enter on this access point. Then let's select it and make control plus C as a shortcut of 
making a copy. Then also I have to open a web browser. For me, I use this Google, Google Chrome. And then as you see, I have many uh, different user account. For me, I use this number uh, test is my own. This is my own. Then after you have to come on this uniform resource locator and paste that IPR address. Then you press it press enter as you see this wireless access point called the cable cable free or okay, wireless wireless excellence by default when your username is admin and also password is admin so let's see if password is admin as you see the username or password is in column Let's see. Uh, and also this password and user account uh, are not are not correct. It means that this um, this access point has a full a full full security because they change the user username and the account. As I said before when you are when you are coming to buy this access point by default username is was admin and also password was the admin but this administrator of this access point changed this uh, this password so thank you uh, let me call up you to to see the second part of this making security to the the access point that have never changed the username or or password. So thank you. I'm um, trying to remember to make a subscribe.